Hey guys, Text for Shushu here with a second video on Windows 10. I've had Windows 10 installed now for about 24 hours, and I have to say I like it a lot. Um, I'm not necessarily afraid to install this on all my rigs, although I'm probably going to wait just a little bit because I'm not sure if everything will work. Um, so far, everything on this laptop from Windows 8.1 has worked on Windows 10. I found no exclusions. Like in past betas, you install it and a lot of games or whatever just would not work. And I think that's because a lot of this really is Windows 8.1 for this particular version. Um, some people ask about music. How does music work? Uh, music works good. Basically it pulls up your collection with the interface that looks a lot like um, Xbox One. Um, if you have things on a Zune or Xbox One music uh, collection, um, everything will carry over for you. I believe they are going to have some streaming things here, so if you have one collection on one computer, it's going to act as a server for the other computers as long as you're online, which is good. Um, but everything else is pretty much the usual. Um, a lot of the apps I really, really feel are the same, like Windows, the media player here. I don't really see any major difference for the media player. It just pops right up. I don't have anything in the collection, so there really isn't anything to show. And that's that's the unique thing. Oh, it actually is pulling up some pictures. That's interesting. Okay, um, it's pulling up some pictures from my um, SkyDrive. Um, so that's I guess good as long as I don't mind the pictures being pulled up. Um, these are a lot of old Facebook photos and such. So anyway, um, that's a good thing to me anyway. Um, especially if you have your camera set to automatically send to SkyDrive and really just capture everything and make it nice and convenient. I've had a number of times on my phone where I've actually had to reset the phone, but luckily, thanks to SkyDrive, I've managed to save a lot of the photos. So, anyway, it's a good, good thing. And other questions, um, people are asking about the control panel. Um, what does that look like? Um, let's take a look here. That's one thing, actually, I've yet to look at, so this might be a little bit interesting if we can even find the control panel. Let's see here. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Network. Ch -ch -ch. Add to favorites. There's a favorites up here, which is kind of interesting for being um, a system screen. Desktop short. Cut. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Hmm, interesting. I am not seeing it. There is a task view, which is interesting. This reminds me of a lot of Linux, actually, where you'll take your multiple desktops and, you know, show them off. Um, I have a feeling that they're going to even be more Linuxy once this thing actually does come out. I also do notice the ask, there's a thing in here for submitting feedback, um, which is very interesting. Windows, um, the Xbox One, got really bad press and everything when it first came out. And since then, there's been a very active uh, beta program that you have to opt into and get approved for. Um, and I've been on it for a while now, and that's where you get the, the new updates first, including really useful updates like being able to play you know video files um, off a of flash drive on the Xbox One, which is my biggest request. And um, so you can submit feedback. And I really think they're going to try and do the same thing here where they're shaping Windows 10 with feedback from the beta testers. So, if you want to help shape Windows, that may be something that you can opt for. I've had a few ideas actually go through, and it's also unique that usually these Windows um, betas go through the usual process of closed beta, and then you get through MSDN and through other sources, and then finally it's like open beta for everybody. But this time they really opened it up very, very quickly, so I guess they really do want to have feedback from the end users to try and make Windows 10 the best it can be. Um, and that's pretty much all I have for you for today. You know, um, there's PC settings I see here. Um, I didn't necessarily see control panel, which is a little surprising. And even this screen's taking a little time to go to. Let's see here. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Recovery, network, date and time, PC and devices, OneDrive, search and apps, network. Yeah, I guess, um, I guess I'm going to have to keep digging here, and I will update later about the control panel. Because you think it would be right under PC settings or File Explorer, but it doesn't seem to be. Very interesting. All right, well, anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying it. At this point, again, if you've not downloaded Windows 10, there's all sorts of places you can get it from. If you absolutely can't find it, uh, shoot me a little message, and I'll help you through and get you on the right track for it. Again, it's a single DVD all, is all you need for it to install. And um, I would say if you like testing new software and uh, trying out the latest and greatest and everything, uh, go for it. Go ahead and install it and check out the future Windows 10. 
Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, be sure and give it a little thumbs up. And if you like my reviews in general, be sure and subscribe. I'm trying to make the sh the channel better with uh, better camera work and stuff down the road. Right now, I'm recording this on my smartphone, so I apologize for the shaky cam. Anyway, I hope you enjoy, and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.